become a Golden Knight today and never miss a video by clicking that subscribe button and that bell. Anyway, on with the video. Hello my Golden Knights, Ishrish Gold here and welcome to a Greenville Beta update video. Now in this change logs, uh, I'm basically going to be going through the four new cars that have just come out. Uh, I'm going to try and make this a regular kind of video thing, so whenever a major update comes out where they release new vehicles or buildings, uh, I'll then go ahead and showcase them to you guys. So anyway, we're going to move on and show you guys the four brand new vehicles in Greenville Beta. So, the first of the four vehicles is this luxury SUV. It's the 2020 Stugart GLS. Uh, it comes in all of these colours uh, that you can see here. So we've got like a red, a blue, black, uh, a couple different whites, uh, some greys, and obviously a green right there. Uh, so it comes in at 98500 which is pretty, pretty expensive, uh, especially for an SUV, but I suppose it is the newest SUV in the entire dealership. So anyway, here this thing is. It is absolutely gorgeous. I really do like how the, uh, the back looks, how it does. Uh, it's really, really cool. Um, I, I really, really like the styling, as you can see. Uh, we've just got basic headlights. Uh, they look pretty powerful, pretty good. Uh, we'll check out the hazards and things. Yeah, they all work. Uh, okay, that's good, because some vehicles, they don't have hazards, or, or, you know, the left and right clickers. Okay, that, that looks all good. I, I'm really happy with that. The only complaint that I might have is on the back. The, the, uh, the hazards aren't as nice as I would like them to be, uh, kind of not as bright. Uh, but I guess, what are you going to do, I suppose? Uh, anyway, let's speed test this thing. Alright, so you guys know the drill. Uh, we're going to test out its 0 to 60 times, so let's do this. Okay. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It might be even 11 seconds, 0 to 60. Okay, let's, let's test out its uh, top speed then. Uh, so, about 11 seconds, so its acceleration, not that good. But as you can see, it's picking up, okay? It's, it's picking up speed. Alright, let's see. Okay, it looks like we've got about 137 miles per hour, uh, which is not too bad. And for the uh, our fellow Australian viewers, that's about 221 uh, kilometers per hour. So that is pretty, pretty good uh, for this SUV. Uh, and, and it's not too bad. I, I'm really liking this SUV. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to the next vehicle. Now, just before we move on to the next vehicle, I would just like to say that last vehicle sells for $85,695, so you don't lose too much when selling it. Now, for the next vehicle, it is another SUV, and it is the 2019 BK BKM X4 M4OI. That is a name and a half right there. Uh, but basically, this is 64500 uh, It's interesting that this is an SUV as well. Uh, it looks a bit sportier than the last one, but we'll have to go test it out right now. Okay, now I was going to start off with me in the car, but just have a listen to this. It sounds so sporty, especially when it starts up. It just sounds absolutely awesome. I feel, I've got a feeling that I'm going to love this one. Uh, I'm glad that I got it in red. Uh, but anyway, let's let's start it off. So, let's check out the lights. Uh, as you can see, you kind of see the lights a little bit more because it's dark and it's it's raining, which is not the best weather for this, but anyway. Uh, I really, really like the back lights. I think they look really, really slick. Uh, and the front lights are just pretty normal. Uh, now let's try the hazards. Okay, hazards are super bright on the back. I like that. Uh, turning signals, they're not that good on the front. They, they don't look very special, but I guess uh, that works. Uh, we'll try, yeah, left uh, left and right. Yeah, that's pretty standard. It's basically just the same thing as the hazards. Uh, okay, now I'm really, really excited to speed test this, so let's give this a go. Oh man, just pulling it up to this position, I can already tell that this thing is going to be crazy. Okay, let's start this off with a 0 to 60 time. Let's go. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so about 5 seconds. Uh, that's kind of a rough... Uh, 0 to 60 time. Now let's check out its top speed. Let's see what we've got. This thing sounds absolutely amazing. I'm loving it. Okay, got 175. Okay, that's pretty good, uh, but it just sounds awesome. Oh man, I cannot get enough of this thing. This thing sounds amazing. It, it's so sporty for an SUV and it's so loud. It just sounds so good. And we can just do some little drifts here. Okay, that is awesome. Uh, oh man, th this thing, this thing's really good. I like this one. 
Okay, now that vehicle sells for 56,115. Uh, so you're losing a little bit, but not too much once again. Alright, now I actually had to uh, buy the Classic Vehicles Pass uh, to show you guys this one. Uh, but this one is the 1996 Braunson Roadmaster Wagon, and its description is a literal boat. That is amazing. Uh, okay, so it's a classic car, obviously, uh, and it's looking really, really nice. I, I, I'm not too... you know, it, it looks good on the thing. It looks like one of those old station wagons with the wood panelling on the side. Uh, but anyway, we're going to test this thing out. We're going to get it in a light sand drift. Uh, so it is 20500 uh, if you guys wanted to know the price. So very, very cheap, and it's one of the oldest uh, vehicles in the hatchbacks class. So we're going to check this thing out. Now, I have taken this thing to a bit more of a unique spot because it is a very, very unique vehicle. You really do get your value for money with this thing. Uh, so obviously you got the very, very strange but awesome looking wood panelling on the side. Uh, really quickly, because I forgot to mention it, it also seems to have some sort of seating in the boot or trunk or whatever you like to call it, so just thought I'd mention that. It comes with a roof rack, it also comes with a, a cool aerial thing uh, that's kind of rare on, on, on some other vehicles. Uh, it's got a sunroof as well, which is very, very cool. Uh, but anyway, we're going to test this thing out uh, with its lights and whatnot. So its lights are yellow. Uh, like most old cars, uh, and its hazards are pretty standard, except for those ones in the middle. Those are pretty, pretty rare. I don't know why they've got those in the middle as well. Uh, the backs are pretty standard, but it does actually light up the all of the lights on the back, which is very, very interesting. Uh, and obviously, the left and the right clickers are pretty, pretty standard. Uh, nothing too much to say about those. Uh, but anyway, we are going to start off and speed test this thing. Now, just as we're moving up to do the speed test, I did notice something. The <laughs> the suspension in this car is very, very wobbly. Uh, it, it's, it's very interesting, but it's almost like realistic suspension. Like, if you see how this thing turns, it turns pretty realistically, so I'm quite liking this thing. Anyway, let's line this thing up for its speed test. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight. So about eight, seven and a half seconds to eight seconds, uh, something like that for 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 its you know not to sixty. Uh, now it caps out pretty quickly at about 110 miles per hour, uh, but that was probably to be expected. I would love to do a police chase in this thing. I can just imagine it now. Uh, I would love to do some sort of police chase with this thing. Uh, I think that would be really awesome. You wouldn't really outrun them too quickly, but it would make for a really cool police chase. Uh, anyway, let's head back to the dealership. And that last vehicle sells for 17,835, uh, so you're losing about 3,000. So not too bad there, uh, it's, it's, you know, you'll be fine if you sell it. Now it looks like this is definitely the update for SUVs this week, so, uh, it's another SUV, it's the 2015 Tuscany Santa Fe Sport. Uh, which looks pretty good. It comes in a huge range of colours, uh, and it is only 17500 which is cheaper than that last vehicle that we did, uh, which is interesting. But anyway, we're going to test this thing out. We're going to get in orange, uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, so the engine sounds for this thing, as you just heard, is not... Not really anything special, uh, but it does have uh, lights that run all the time, uh, which is quite unique. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what they're called, uh, but they're, they're looking pretty good. Uh, the lights kind of look a little bit yellow, I'm not sure what that is about. Uh, so not too bad, uh, you can see the, the left and the, and the right uh, clickers there. So, so pretty, pretty simple uh, and pretty, pretty good. Uh, but anyway, we are going to test this thing now. So anyway, as uh, it's just becoming night now, we're going to speed test this thing. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So about seven seconds. Uh, so not too bad. Uh, but this thing is pretty, pretty good. Okay, it's 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 picking up some speed. Okay, 121. It caps out pretty, pretty quickly. Uh, but I do think this is probably a really nice car to drive. Uh, if you just want to kind of go around, maybe do some sort of soccer mama RP or something like that. Uh, so not too bad overall. Alright everyone, now as we've got the moon in the background, I uh, hope you all did enjoy this video. That's it for uh, this update. Uh, so tell me if you do want me to make more videos when, you know, new updates come out. Uh, do let me know. Uh, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.